Now, just when China was relaxing its travel restrictions, other countries are now imposing curbs. The United States has become the latest country to impose a mandatory COVID test. This will be only for visitors arriving from China, Hong Kong and Macau. From the 5th of January, everyone coming from these three regions will need a negative test to enter the country. Air passengers will need to take a test at most two at most two days before the departure. This rule is also for people flying via third country and connecting flights. If anyone has tested positive more than 10 days before the flight, then the passenger can show documents to prove his or her recovery. The move comes after Italy said that it is going to test all travellers arriving from China. Authorities say that almost half of the passengers on two flights to Milan were found to have the virus. Health officials are now sequencing those tests to see if there are new variants. In case a new strain is found, officials might impose stricter curbs on travel from China. We might be hearing some news from European Commission today as well, because the bloc is set to convene to discuss possible measures to curb the situation. Meanwhile, Australia says it is making no change in its rules. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese's administration is only monitoring the situation. In the wake of the biggest COVID outbreak in China, many countries are rushing to secure their borders to keep the virus out. Like Washington, similar measures have been taken by Italy, Japan, Malaysia, Taiwan and India. After almost three years of restrictions, China decided to let people travel easily from the 8th of January. Quarantine is set to end for travellers entering China and passport applications for Chinese citizens will resume. But the relaxations are not sitting in sync with the current situation in China. The country has experienced an unprecedented number of cases. Hospitals and crematoriums are overwhelmed. Experts speaking to United States from Beijing say almost everyone they know is testing positive for the virus. China has struggled to vaccinate its elderly population as well and is yet to authorize foreign mRNA vaccines. The United States and other nations have accused China of failing to be transparent over COVID data. The true toll of daily cases and deaths in China is unknown. Since the 25th of February, officials have stopped releasing these figures, so it is becoming increasingly difficult for other governments to monitor the chances of new variants. Defending itself, Beijing says the world is distorting China's COVID policy. And every COVID response should be science-based, not affecting people-to-people -people exchange. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.